You know, it's, it's, it's truly an honor to, to be here in Detroit at Detroit Mercy. And um, so what an interesting time to be alive, isn't it? I don't, I don't know of a better word than interesting. <laughs> and, and so I define the racist idea as any idea. She's like, finally, you're getting into the daggone definition. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, any idea that, that suggests a racial group is superior or inferior to another racial group in any way. Very simple. Any idea that suggests a racial group is superior or inferior to another racial group in any way. And therefore, anti-racist ideas suggest that the racial groups are what? Equal. I mean, it's very simple, <laughs> right? Now, it, but it becomes a whole lot more complex when we understand, particularly in our time, that very few people are going to say that racial group is superior or inferior. So what they'll say about black people, because this, this, this text is about anti-black racist ideas, is they'll say that this is what's wrong with this specific black group. There's no data that substantiates any racist idea. And even probably one of the most pervasive racist ideas which is the idea that black neighborhoods are more dangerous and violent than white neighborhoods. There's no correlation between black people and violent crime, but there is correlations between unemployment levels, poverty levels, and violent crime. We begin to realize that the actual problem is unemployment. And, and the way to solve that problem is what? It's a very simple thing, jobs, right? It's very simple. <laughs> Job, more jobs as opposed to more cops in jail cells.